Hello friends, welcome to Internet Works. My name is Atkasi Francis. In this video, we are going to see how to prevent uh, root guard attack. You can see the topology here. We have uh, five switches and uh, eight uh, PCs, and there's a one Kali Linux machine. You can see the IP addressing. We are going to assign the IP address as per the topology. Uh, first, we are starting uh, the configuring these uh, trunks. Okay. So starting from switch one, from switch one, switch one is having uh, four trunk gigabyte zero slash zero to zero slash three. You can see we have allowed all the VRANs on this trunk. Now on switch two, on switch two. First, we are going to attack this uh, this uh, switch one. Uh, after that, we are going to see how to prevent these attacks. Okay, so we are using the Kali machine in order to attack the root root bridge on switch three. There also we allowed all the VNs on this trunk. Now on switch four. Switch four, and now switch five. Okay, now let's see the trunks uh, and show interface. So, so interface track. You will see the encapsulation is zero two dot one q. Now switch four. Show interface. Trunk. Okay. Now switch three. Switch one. Okay. And and show interface. Trunk. You will see zero slash zero to zero slash three. All the interface. It's configured as a trunk. Okay, now we are going to make this uh, switch one as a root bridge for VLAN one. Okay, so configure terminal, spanning tree. VLAN one, root, and then primary. Okay, now let's see. Do uh, show spanning tree VLAN one. As you can see, this switch is the root. This bridge is the root. Now let's uh, check the connectivity between these uh, PCs. So we are using this. I already configured the IP addressing just to save your time. Let me ping from here. Okay, ten dot one dot one dot seventy means uh, this PC PC seven. Okay, we are pinging from PC one to PC seven. You can see the reply and uh, PC fourteen. Let's see fourteen. Okay. One more time on PC twelve. Okay, PC thirty. Okay. As you can see, we have uh, the connectivity between the the PCs. Okay, now we are going to assign the IP address on these Kali machines. Okay. Let's first uh, assign the IP address on this uh, machine. The password. Ah. Uh,
setting. Now this uh, click on the network and here's the setting icon. Click on it. Now IPv4 manual in another word is called static. Okay. So 10.1.1.2 the mask is 255 dot C dot zero and uh, the default gateway will be 10.1.1.1 okay. okay now apply open the terminal Let's verify the IP address. IP. Okay. Here you will see the IP address. Okay. So now let's ping from this Kali machine to PC 10. Dot one dot one dot ten. Okay, you can see the reply now. On the okay, fourteen. You can see the Kali is can communicate with this PCs. Okay. Now one more. One dot seventeen. You can see. The reply is coming from PC7. Okay. Now we are going to attack the root root switch and make this Kali machine as a root. Uh, why we uh, why we are re uh, doing this? Because uh, just to show you uh, how to prevent this attack. Uh, don't try this on 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 real world environment. Okay. So first we are going to install the, the tool sudo okay. sudo apt install the scene okay you can see it's done now your senior now open this tool okay now we are choose the stp after that we launch the attack and then claiming the root bridge okay See them the messages over here. Now let's check on the switch one which we have configured earlier as a root bridge, and we'll make sure that the switch one will remain as a root bridge for our network. Okay, now switch one. Earlier this switch uh, is the root. Okay, so now again. Here you will see this port is no longer a uh, root bridge for VLAN one, okay? Uh, because uh, this because of this attack. Now what we are going to configure, we are going to configure the root guard in order to block this uh, this machine or this attacker. As you can see, this uh, this machine is connected on switch four but uh, still can attack on the switch one and make itself as a root bridge for our network. So now what we are going to configure a root guard. Let's configure the root guard on all the interface, all the trunk interface, okay? To make sure this attack will 
not happen again okay interface okay range gigabyte uh, 0 slash 0 to 3 spanning tree Cards and let me show you. you. Can see the root. Okay, so root. Let's see what will happen. You can see the root guards enable on all the in all the trunking interfaces, and you will see the root guard block the gigabyte zero slash two means this gigabyte zero slash two. So this is how you can configure the root card. This is very important. If you have any doubt about the root card, there's a link in the description box. I have wrote everything about the root card. And this configuration is also over there. So thank you so much for watching this video.